Grant the Tool Man. Oh, what's up? I'm Grant Germain. This is Tech Thursdays. And I'm going to teach you how to upkeep your grind ledge. So the tools that you're going to need for this job of upkeeping your grind... Why the fuck am I saying grind ledge? Your ledge. The tools you're going to need to upkeep your ledge are going to be a drill. This one is a Torx head. It works better because you can tighten the bolts down extra tight and no one usually has this shit so they're not going to steal the coping or steal the ledge and this one's chained up so they're not going to steal it anyway but the last one did get stolen but the last one did get stolen and it was chained up no uh, so we're going to replace the plywood over here with the sledge as you can see some <laughs> some wear and tear weather damage so first you're going to start with taking the coping off. Then we're gonna take this top sheet of plywood off. Usually you'd use a saw to cut up the plywood to fit perfectly, but we already have some cut up pieces. Shout out to Home Depot. So I'm gonna take this coping off, then we're gonna get started with replacing the top sheet of plywood. Yeah, usually like the top of the ledge will get weathered first. I mean, I don't know how often it breaks in like this, but just like grinding the top and pegs hitting the top and like it not being fully covered in metal. And then these screws might be a little bit hard to get your bit into due to the wax buildup. Mad wax in the head of this bolt. So you can use the screw, clear the wax out. Okay, there's gonna be bolts on the top and the side to reinforce this piece of coping. So you're gonna to wanna to find all of the holes, all of the screws. You gotta make sure they all come out or your coping's not gonna come off. And you're gonna to wanna to hold the coping when you're doing this or it'll probably fall off and break your toes. So now you take your first piece of coping off. And now you can see that this top sheet of plywood is exposed. We're gonna take the other side of the coping off and then the full top of the box will be exposed. All right, so before you start this whole shit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your drill is charged because when you go to take a screw out and this shit happens, is very annoying and then you gotta wait another 30 minutes until you charge the other battery. But luckily we may have another battery. Which we do. We kinda skipped a step and ripped the plywood off and then found the screws. Thank you. Alright. Yep. How are you guys doing? Sad So you're gonna wanna clean your shit up as you go along. And I didn't make this mess, but it's been made over time, so we might as well clean it. Oh me. <laughs> Oh, this fucking cup has a cube on it. Just want to sweep. Sweep it all up. Just grab a random friend, random person on the street, have them help you out. Oh shit, that lottery ticket, it wasn't a winner. Another one of the loser ones. <laughs> For the kids. For the older kids. Yes. A lot of these kids don't have parents and shit. They just were born from alien cyborg DNA. Born from alien cyborg DNA. <laughs> There's a Doritos bag in there. If you're at home building this, mom and dad will be very pleased if you clean up after yourself. 
Alfredo said I'm not the best broomer, but he's the best broomer. Look at him brooming. Look at me go, baby. <laughs> Look at him broom. Hey, weed heads, pick up your garbage, okay, blunt master? All right, bud, we get it. You're out smoking, but you can hit, put your garbage in the trash, bud, okay? Gosh. All right, so we cleaned up. What? Now, usually, you would want to measure the piece of wood. I'm on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's you're up? on Twitch, you're about to get banned. Why? Yeah, I'm banned on Twitch. Oh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to want to measure the pieces of wood that you're going to use. And, like I said, we already have cut pieces of wood, but we're going to measure this, see what it would be. About the right measurements on the piece of wood. Just want to make sure that it lines up pretty close to perfectly so that the coping can sit right and then I'm probably gonna do like all four corners of each side so that it stays in nice and then you can put as many screws and nails in until you think it's nice and sturdy a very simple solution to not fucking up every single hole that you put in the ledge <clears throat> is to pre-drill the holes with the drill bit it's a little bit smaller than the width of the screws and then you can make sure that it's going through both pieces of wood and you're not just drilling into nothing. You wanna make sure you're on the drill setting. I think this drill just sucks. So like I said, I pre-drilled the holes in the corners and now it's gonna be way easier to put the screw all the way through and I know that it's gonna go through both pieces of wood. So there's our first screw. On this first layer, um, especially if you're about to go over it with coping, you're gonna wanna make sure that your screw heads are like as close down as possible so they're not like sticking up and like messing with the coping. Now, seven out of eight corners, and this one will be eight corners. Um, four corners of each piece of plywood. You can go through as many times. This one actually didn't even go into anything. I was about to front on you guys like it did. We're gonna take this out. That's why it's good to pre-drill the holes because you can see if it goes into anything after the piece of plywood, obviously, because if you screw into nothing then it's not going to secure so like this is into two pieces of wood which is good so we'll drill this last corner there so that one went in nice and tight so now we got eight corners down if you wanted you could do more screws i'll probably do like two more holes on each sheet and then just move on to the coping which is going to secure it even more okay so um we got our top piece of plywood on and secure. So now I'm gonna place the coping and basically do the same thing. So if you're doing this brand new, you're gonna have to pre-drill all the holes in your coping and dremel them out so the heads fit nice, but this is already done. So I'm just gonna do the four ends, pre-drill them. I'm gonna end up pre-drilling all the holes so that they go in, like I said earlier. And, but I'm gonna pre-drill these sides because if you go along, your coping could move as you're drilling it in, so you want to make sure that each end is nice and tight and then your middle will stay tight as you go along. Earlier, same thing, you're going to want to use a drill bit that's smaller than the width of your screw because if you use one that's bigger, obviously the screw won't be able to grab into the hole. Okay, so first corner, you're going to want to secure it. Okay, so now first screw. Um, it's open. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so now that you have both ends done, um, your coping shouldn't move as you go along. Like, 
I mean, you can just keep checking it and make sure it's in there. But now we're just gonna pre-drill all the holes. You're gonna wanna make sure all your side holes are drilled as well. <laughs> You got a fake butt. <laughs> oh, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Same thing, line it up, get it on nice. You're gonna want to drill the first two holes of each side, like I said the last time. I got Nate here helping me out paint this thing so it looks nice and crispy. All right, so yeah, I screwed in all the pieces of coping. Nate's just finishing up, like spraying it, make it look nice. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how to repair your ledge. And now it's good to ride again. Uh, this is, what was it? Tech Tuesday? Tech on Thursday. Alfredo Mancuso's Tech channel. Thursday, fucker. Tech Thursday. This is Tech Thursday. This was Tech Thursday on Alfredo Mancuso's YouTube channel. Showed you how to spray paint the ledge, replace the wood, fix the coping. Ah. Yeah, all that. So now it's good and ready to ride. Brand new ledge on Melrose. Come shred it. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.